They get to do it on their own home field. The big bat of David Wright, an MVP candidate every year. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball welcomes you. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crack. The role of the starting pitcher that's going to be handled by Johan Santana. And as he gets into this St. Louis lineup, Steve, what's the primary emphasis? Well, it's in a National League battle, and they get to do it on their own home field. Will this man, Chris Carpenter, be able to bring his... Here's the lineup for the Cardinals. Now, John, it will be Raphael Fricao leading us off. For the St. Louis Cardinals, shortstop, number 15, Raphael Fricao. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Strike two, Johan Santana in the driver's seat. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. And Murphy's going to play it. And for Kyle, set down. One down. He swung hard like he wanted to drive this one, but got underneath it. Winds up just popping it up the second. One down. Here's Carlos Beltran. There's a lot of talk about where Carlos Beltran would end up in the offseason. He's one of the bigger name free agents in this offseason. Lo and behold, here he is with this club. It's hit foul by Beltran. And for Beltran, he's uh, he's done this exercise before. It was a huge rush for his services last time he was a free agent in 04 05. You know, it also came in a year after he was traded to a team pushing to make the playoffs. A lot of teams looking for him at the trade deadline last year, and a player that was highly sought after as a free agent as well. This one's grounded near third. Foul. You're out. And Beltron strikes out. Couldn't make contact. Uh, the pitch is too close to take, but you've got to try to make contact with it. Swings right through it. Strike three. Now we'll take a quick look at the Mets. This is how they line up on the field. Particular standouts here, John? Well, you plug him into the outfield in any position, and you're going to expect some great play, and that's Andres Torres. He runs well. He can play all the... There's a swing and a smash. And he's there to retire the song. And so, Johan... It's going to be Chris Carpenter on the mound. He'll get the start for St. Louis. So, Steve, how do you think he'll go about handling these men? This one's bounced up the middle. And for Cal feels the ball. Oh, and a wild throw. So they can't make the play. And he throws it wide. Gary Collins has set the lineup, and here it is. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? But he can get lost in the shuffle of, of the team that he's on. But day in and day out, Ike Davis produces a big guy. He's going to be a huge power guy once he learns the pitchers in the league. Carpenter with the windup. And it goes foul. Foul! Fouled away. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. Picked up by Berkman. And that is not in time. He's aboard at first. And he throws it away. And now's a good time to take a quick look at how the St. Louis Cardinals will look defensively. Now this defense ranked in the bottom five in the National League. And it's a real problem for this club because once you make these kinds of mistakes, you can never make them up. And it puts so much pressure on the pitching staff. They feel like they need to miss bats. When pitchers don't pitch to contact, that's a problem. Well, Garrett Torres on. He's always a threat to steal the base. They've got to keep him close. And David Wright misses. That is strike three. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. Davis into the batter's box. Well, there's no complaint from the St. Louis Cardinals in the performance of Chris Carpenter in last year's postseason. Not your typical fireball or ace that he once was, but he knows how to pitch, and he knows how to keep his team in a game. Swung on line to right center field. That's in. That should bring Torres home. Interesting that in the postseason last year, where there were virtually no starter who could do anything, Chris Carpenter was the one guy who was able to stay in the ball. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And Jay... 
two away. Now the center fielder has to range to his left, but able to track this one down and make it look easy. And here's Jason Bay. He's looking to bring this runner home. And he'll be swinging with the bases loaded. But Gary, they got a big opportunity now to take the lead in this situation. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. Oh one Lifetime average, 251 hitter off the Cardinals. Carpenter with the windup. Swing liner back up the middle. And he can't make the play. This could be trouble. Torres coming across the plate. And Murphy follows him home. So that's going to bring in two. Now after two RBIs on that hit, you can see how the WPA graph is looking. And in the batter's box, it's Tolley. This offense is taking some pressure off the pitching at this point. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's going to be Beltron. And that one's put away to retire the side. And it didn't take long. Our first two runs. First inning. Trouble coming. Lance Berkman. He'll be leading it off. Line towards second. And Murphy gloves that one. One down. Well, sometimes you have to hit them whether or not. That was a shot right there, but they hit it right to the second baseman for now. One away, David Freeze gets set. By all measurements, the this one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Torres is there. Able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. And when you're playing in New York and Steve talking about being middle of the pack, John, that just is not going to cut. Uh, especially not in this division. You're going to go 34 and 40. Swing and a line drive. And that's the first hit for the Cardinals in this one. And that will bring up Yadier Molina. Well, with that big two-out hit right there in this inning, you know the managers in there telling him, let's not let him breathe. Let's not let him get that third out. Let's score. He sends this one in the air towards center. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Well, that was a good inning for Johan Santana. And welcome to those of you just tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Tejada at the plate. Carpenter with the windup. Deal one delivery, curve, swung on a miss, 0 and 2. Well, against this guy in this situation, Gary, you've got to go with the changeup. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, he made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sit down. Santana has a turn in the line. This one's grounded to second. The Scalso, two down here in the inning. Going to be Torres now. Reached on an error and later scored last time through the lineup. And the first pitch. It's hit foul by Torres. Foul! Torres, another foul ball. And he fouls another foul! one off. Got the bat on that one. Jay's there. And for Cowell's going to play it. And that one's put away to retire the side. And a good half inning there. Gone in short. Well, maybe not a heat wave, but it is warm here at City Field. And Descalso will settle in. Swings, puts it in play, fielded by Torres. That one's caught. It's going to be Carpenter now. Those Cardinals team a year ago, exceptional on the road. A 45 and 36 record in opposing ballpark, second best in the National League, only behind the Philadelphia Phillies. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. At the plate. That's going to bring up Raphael for call. And the Cardinals on that road record really used it at the end of the year, Steve. 10 and 3.
final month away from Bush. And then they did carry it into the playoffs. Remember, they went into the Miller Park. There's a swing and a ground ball. He picks Here it up. up. And there's one. Davis there, but not in time. They won't get two. Well, they get the lead runner in second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. There's one on. Here is Carlos Beltran. And you can say these fans remember when he sat in the other dugout. No doubt about that. And a fly ball, and this could be it. But it was a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory.